What is up, MMA fans? This is Tudor Leonte for sure dog here. And today I have the pleasure to talk with the man who scored the quickest knockout for a debuting fighter in the UFC, Mr. Terrence McKinney. Hello, Terrence, and welcome on Short Dog. How are you? Hey, thank you, man. It's good to be on Short Dog, man. I, I remember back in the day when I would look on the site, see people's record, man. So it's a pleasure to be with you guys today. And the pleasure is obviously all ours, sir. Um, how are you? How are uh, things going on? Yeah, I'm a little tired. We're in the weight cut, so I'm getting ready to make weight on Friday. How is your weight cut going so far? It's good, good. It's been it's been easy this time around, just 10 pounds ago. Oh, so we can expect you to hit the mark, right? Exactly. Every time, I got to be professional. That's that's it. You're obviously right. Um, I read on uh, your social accounts that your mother is an army veteran. We are recording a few hours after Veterans Day. Um, what can you share with us about, you know, your mother's profession? Uh, I know she served the army for like eight years, I believe. I think she made it to be a sergeant, something like that. I don't know all the details. Like, I just let her do her thing, and I just support her. That's it. I just know we had to move. Up. Well, I was a little kid, so we just moved a lot. Because when I was in the military, so. Um, yes. Um, what did she do? Sorry. Oh, she was in the Army, but now she works at Excelsior. Mm-hmm. Thinks like they, she's the head of HR there now. So she like hiring and, and firing people right now. <laughs> okay, okay. I you okay. Let, let's switch to to MMA. You made quite a, a stir in your promotional debut when you killed Matt Frivola. Um, what do you remember? You know from that night. I remember um, um, we were drilling uh, just the timing of his kick because we know like all the tall guys he fought like he used the kicks him and then just start throwing haymakers so i knew like if we timed the kick right we we might be able to sit him on his butt and but for the first minute uh my coach said we just we're just gonna throw hands so like we we're drilling it back like my coach practicing kick and i'll hit the one two so like it's just crazy that it happened that quickly you know and I'm just grateful to God for the outcome and couldn't ask for a better debut. Did you picture to, you know, that it would happen so quickly? I mean, you are a finisher. You finish plenty of your past opponents within the minute. But, you know, seven seconds, that's quite amazing. Yeah, that's like some Mike Tyson stuff, man. So it feels good. I've definitely you know I put the lightweight division on notice. They know I got that power and I can't wait to show it again um this next week. After you won your fight, you jumped on the cage and when you landed, it looked like you injured your knee. Um we can ask what happened there. Um uh, well I found out I strained uh my uh calf and then like has like some nerves damage behind my knee and but other than that all my ligaments ligaments were attached so it's it was nothing that physical therapy couldn't clear right up <laughs> what, what did you think you know when you actually got more injured during your post fight celebrations than in the actual your uh, in the fight itself Um, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, damn, I was about to be mad as hell at myself. So I was like, damn, that baby was sick. So I was like, I, right, I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was worried for a second, but then like later that day, I was able to walk on it a little bit. So I knew like if my knee wasn't buckling and stuff, I had to see. And I was like, all right, we're good. But we'll get the MRI just to check. But I really couldn't flex my calf for like a whole month. I- i mean, did you also had to, you know, take some time off training for that? No, I think I took like maybe like two weeks off, but that was mostly just 
a break for myself because I was fighting left and right. Sure. You are now scheduled to face Fares Yam. Um, an interesting fact is that both of you fought on the same card, you know, at UFC 263. Did you watch his fight that night? Yeah, he was the fight before me. And um, can you please share, us, uh, share with us your thoughts on it? Um, I, I know, like, if you play the game with him, trying to strike and keep distance, um, he's going to beat you at that. He's world class at it. But I know when you get a little bit more aggressive and, and make it scrappy, he doesn't like that. And that's where he's not good at. He's more of a clean striker, point striker. And I know if I get in this grill, uh, we can really hurt him because – Uh, once Luigi got in his face, he rocked him in the third period. So I know if I put that heat on him right away, we could be looking at another first round finish. How have you pictured this fight? You know, how do you think that is going to end? Um, I think there's so many ways I see it. And then it just all depends how he wants to fight me. Because I told people I'm not about to run around for for 50 minutes. I'm, I'm here to win 50 Gs every time. I'm trying to put on a performance that people never seen. Do you expect to finish him within the first round as you have with the your latest four opponents? Yeah, actually, that's only one time I didn't finish a person uh, in the first round. I got a 100% finish rate. So we're looking for the first round finish every time, right? I'm here to kill or be killed. I don't, I don't need to fill out. I've been filling it out all camp. That's what I tell people. I've been filling out all camp. Once that bell rings, let's fight. I'm scrapping. I don't need to fill nothing out. I know my range. I've been drilling it all camp. I'm ready to put your face off your head, straight up off your shoulders. And do, do you think that he will accept to, you know, exchange with you on the feet. I mean, he's a striker, okay, but obviously you put the lightweight division on alert. He, I guess, he watched, you know, your fight um, at USC 263 as well. Do you believe that he will accept, you know, to exchange on the feet with you face to face? I think he will a little bit, but if I land solid, I think he's just going to be running away, you know? Um. In case of victory, how are you going to celebrate this time? You guys got to wait and see, but we're working on some stuff. Hey, you guys see, my knee's feeling good. I'm athletic. I'm doing wall spins. I'm doing it all. So, like, this is probably the best I felt at any fight I had this year, and I'm ready to display that. Yeah, I actually also watched your stories on Instagram, And you did some peculiar things in the gym with your training partners. Uh, you were jumping on the walls. Uh, I mean, it was a sort of challenge. What was that? Can you please explain yeah, to us? Yeah. I posted it and then we just made it a challenge. You know, she was just going with it. So it's it pretty cool just seeing how the influence is working. And the more people I can influence, the better. The more money I make and the more lives I can change. And that's what I'm awfully here to do, not just fight, but just to be a champion off the mat and help as many people as I can who don't believe in themselves. So. Um, a few days from now uh, and a few days after your, your fight, um, you know, it's going to be Thanksgiving. Uh, can I ask you your plans for, for the occasion? Um, I haven't decided yet. There's a lot of options, but we're definitely going to take a little break after the fight and then, It just all it it just all depends if I can get a fight December. That's what it all it comes down to. Like it all depends on the result of this fight. And yeah, it just it just depends. Like if I get a fight in December, I won't be doing anything. Uh, would you like to fight again this year? Yeah, if I get a first round finish, I'm trying to fight in December. Guaranteed. Well, that's that's amazing. And uh, you know, I wish your plans to come true. Um, before I let you go, do you have any last message? Yeah, I want to say shout out to God for giving me a second chance of life, giving me a chance to make it to the USC, what I've been dreaming about my whole life. And I just want to say shout out to the family you gave, gave me, and I love my sport team 
and shout out to Warrior Camp. Shout out to Irene Sports Agency. I just feel like everything's lining up perfectly, and and this win is for God, you know, and and all the people I lost this year. So I'm ready to make a statement. Terence, your latest fight was really amazing. Your victory, quite impressive. Uh, I wish you the best for your upcoming fight, and hopefully, I will hear again from you in the future. Yes, sir. We'll, I'll see you soon after the victory. Have a nice day. Best of luck, my friend. Hey, you too, man. Have a good day. Bye.